A little over two decades ago, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos founded an aerospace manufacturing company called Blue Origin. Some 11 years after the company was started, they decided it was time to build something spectacular. Thus, the BE-4 was born. Their first engine to combust liquid oxygen and liquefied natural gas propellants. Today on Super Freaky Science, we'll be taking a very close look at the Blue Origin Super Engine BE-4 and why things are not going as exactly as the world had hoped. The BE-4's Background In 2011, Blue Origin officially started working on building the BE-4. However, they did not go public with any announcements until three years after the project. In September 2014, Blue Origin revealed details about their prized engine, the BE-4. According to their announcement, the engine's build was intended to combust liquid oxygen and liquefied natural gas propellant and meant to be the main engine for a new primary launch vehicle, New Glenn. That same year, Blue Origin revealed that the engine was no longer intended for exclusive use with New Glenn. They shared that they were partnering with United Launch Alliance and would be using the BE-4 engine for the ULA Vulcan Centaur launch vehicle. Only a few months after the big revelation in 2015, Blue Origin was simultaneously working on two programs for the engine development. In one program, the company was solely focused on building and testing the large size versions of the engine's power pack. The BE-4's power pack consists of a set of valves and turbo pumps that were designed to provide the mixture of the fuel and the oxidizer to the injectors and the chamber where the combustion would take place. The other program was more concerned with testing smaller scaled versions of the BE-4 injectors. Essentially, both programs would come together to birth the long-awaited engine through 2015 and 2016. Development continued as Blue Origin estimated their first fly to be as early as 2019. From early 2016 to the middle of the year, the company had all but dedicated a huge chunk of its resources to the development of the BE-4 engine. In 2017, Blue Origin started building a new facility in Huntsville, Alabama, where they would dedicate more resources to the BE-4 engine. Test firing at 50% thrust with 3 second time frames came much later in October of 2017. It was not until March of 2018 that the company decided to test at 65% for 114 seconds with hopes to increase the thrust by at least 5%. Before that year came to an end, the BE-4 was test-fired several more times with higher percentage thrusts and more time durations progressively increased from test to test. 2020 saw the project progress into an integration test phase, a troubleshooting phase and ultimately a production phase. With the way things were moving in 2019, launch was no longer feasible, forcing Blue Origin to shift their first launch of the new Glenn with the BE-4 into sometime in 2021. Why is the BE-4 cursed? So many people terming Blue Origin's company baby as cursed seems a little extreme. However, some people might find the term fitting as the engine's journey through development and eventual actualization has been rocky at best. According to sources, the alliance between Blue Origin and the United Launch Alliance has not been in the best shape for years. While Bezos continues to make his world-renowned fortune through his e-commerce company Amazon, ULA worries that he's not giving an adequate amount of attention to Blue Origin and ultimately their Vulcan Center launch vehicle. In early stages of development process, ULA executive Tony Bruno claimed that the Vulcan would be up and ready to launch in 2021. However, per alleged negligence on Blue Origin's part, the BE-4 deliveries have still not come to fruition. Alongside the shortcomings of Blue Origin's part, the United Launch Alliance is also faced with unfulfilled promises from the mission's customers, Astrobotics, whose moon lander has still not been fully prepared and ticked off for application. Vulcan is intended to use two of the 2.4 meganewton BE-4 engines on each first stage. Still, ULA's Bruno holds on to the hope that the Vulcan can still be accelerated enough to have a launch in 2021. 
that seems highly impossible, seeing as the second half of the year has already begun and there's no significant changes in the timeline. This disappointing uncertainty in the once clear timeline reportedly has tension rising between ULE and Blue Origin, although neither has publicly said so. Sometime in 2015, the BE-4 was also set to power Boeing's DARPA XS-1 reusable space plane. Eventually, the project was deflected away from Blue Origin and awarded to the RS-25-derived Aerojet Rocketdyne AR-22 engine. The reason for this change in the decision were not revealed to the public. As for New Glenn, this was supposed to launch this year, 2021. The delay with BE-4 has also thrown things way off track. The large 7-metre diameter two-stage orbital launch vehicle is impressively fitted with an optional third stage and a reusable first stage. The first stage, which will be reusable, will be powered by seven of the highly anticipated BE-4 engines and will land vertically. For the second stage, only two BE-3 engines will be used as the entire stage is set to be expendable. The BE-3 engine is the predecessor engine of the BE-4, and it was completed and flight tested in 2015. Further emphasising the drag between experience with BE-4 and the beginning of BE-3's development was announced in 2013, a year after the BE-4 was announced. Years after the BE-3 was completed, Blue Origin is still working on the BE-4. The BE-4's Features Despite the delay in the development and completion of the BE-4 engine, it's still worth waiting on and remembering all the great qualities promised by Blue Origin. According to the company, the engine is set to be the first ox-rich stage combustion engine made in the US and it will be the most powerful liquefied natural gas rocket engine ever developed. Fortified with an oxygen-rich stage combustion cycle, the almighty BE-4 is said to be able to produce 2.4 meganewtons, roughly 550,000 pound force thrust with deep throttle capability. The liquefied natural gas model is well appreciated for this engine because it's not only incredibly efficient, but is also widely available with a low cost of procurement. The model is also highly sustainable because it can self-pressurize its own tanks, thus eliminating any need for taking out of the Earth's already low helium reserves. Even when operating at low throttle, the liquefied natural gas model also has clean combustion characteristics that make the reusability of the engine even simpler, especially when compared to kerosene fuels. BE-4's impressive features ultimately include a single oxygen-rich pre-burner alongside a single turbine that is put in place to drive the fuel and oxygen pumps. Seeing as the engine has been designed for reusability and reliability, the turbo pump has been fitted with hydrostatic bearings. This means that the engine provides a more medium performance of what would typically be high performance. The engine also boasts a chamber pressure of 13.4 MPA and reusability for up to 100 flights and landings.